on Wandsworth infrastructure. He's not there. Similarly, come into Fairfield Ward. This council, respecting the views of local residents, turned down the development of Homebase site. But of course, the mayor has no time for Wandsworth residents. He decided that actually he would allow this with, because there wasn't enough affordable, affordable homes in it. There were plenty of affordable homes that would have got built. Where is that development at the moment? Not built, like so many other schemes in this city. He doesn't deliver. He doesn't do anything for this. He has, I, I believe, five number one priorities. None of those are Wandsworth. He consistently puts Wandsworth second. We consistently are focused on putting Wandsworth first. And that's why this motion is a complete nonsense and we're going to vote it down. Councillor Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to share three conversations I've had in the last 10 days with Wandsworth residents and eight reasons why we should be representing the people of Wandsworth, standing up for their interests together and uniting as one to demand that Theresa May puts her deal to the British people because it does matter to the people of Wandsworth. In the last 10 days, I've spoken to a Wandsworth long-term resident from Poland who said she was scared and she shared this with many of her friends. She felt scared about the future, uncomfortable in a country she used to feel at home in. I've spoken to a nurse who said that so many staff in the hospital where she works have left because of Brexit coming up that they now cannot fill the rotors. They do not have enough agency staff to even fill the rotors. The impact is being felt right now by NHS staff and patients. And I've spoken to a business owner who is already seeing cuts, profit loss, in his business, and although there are sites on the, on the Wandsworth website page, is not getting enough information, does not know what's going on. It's a shambolic mess. Brexit, of course, comes on top of a list of Tory failures, and that's why it's not just Brexit that we're talking about. Drastic police cuts, which have left the owner of a shop I went to a couple of days ago in Wandsworth, giving me the goods through the metal bars of the gate because he would not open that to serve me because he was so scared about crime in the area. Universal credit, bedroom tax, disability benefit changes and the cruel benefit cap have caused huge hardship and Brexit now is only coming on top of that. So here are eight reasons why we should have a vote on the final deal. Number one, the Tory government should have assess assessed the impact of leaving before choosing whether or not we went for the referendum. Having the vote shouldn't have been an option, for example, until the Northern Irish border options were resolved. It was wrong to start with. Number two, the Tory government should have meant, made very clear what leaving meant. When people voted in 2016, they didn't know which institutions they were voting on. The customs union, single market, all of the trading, security, educational, scientific and health institutions were left to be talked about after the vote instead of before. We need to have a vote when we know what we're voting on. Number three, the promise to provide £350 million a week to the NHS was not true. Number four, in Wandsworth we will lose out because we will not be able to apply for EU funds that we currently do but there's no promise that will be compensation for this. The money promised this week by the government is far too little, especially on top of constant government cuts. Number five, there simply won't be a Brexit dividend. That was promised at the last referendum. It's not there. This was confirmed by the Office of Budget Responsibility to MPs last month. The costs of Brexit are now expected to outweigh the savings. We did not know this when we voted in 2016, and now we know we should have a referendum. Number six, I'm nearly there. 2,300 jobs are at risk in Wandsworth alone. The final deal is not a jobs first Brexit that Theresa May should have negotiated from the start. I don't know what she spent the last two years doing, but it's not gonna be good for jobs and it will damage industries. It is already doing so. Number seven, in Wandsworth, Brexit will have a damaging impact on our community cohesion. People do feel less welcome, less safe, less able to plan to be here in the long term. There are far more implications of Brexit than I think you are planning for. And if we're going to suffer from this destabilisation to our communities, we must be sure we must have that vote. And number eight, I could go on, 
but I'll finish at eight. It is the most democratic course of action to take. The Tories have shambled around for two years. Theresa May presented a deal to Parliament that was rejected by the heaviest parliamentary defeat in the democratic era. This is not business as usual. The government has failed and the decision must go back to the people. In summary, this mess is really impacting us in Wandsworth and it's been brought upon us by a few Etonians in the Tory party. The Tory hard right are now running the country and we're paying the price. Are you, as Conservative councillors, are you, who you are, are you, as Conservative councillors here, prepared to stand up to that hard right in your own party, to put the interest of Wandsworth residents first, to, to add our weight to the demand by 23 other councils for a second referendum? From the nurses, to those who are feeling scared, to those in our communities who are feeling unsafe and unsure about their status, unsure about the future. We need to speak up for them. Please support this motion. Thank you. Councillor Lockhart. Standing order number 32. In view of the lateness of the hour, I move that the remainder of business be dealt with under the provisions of standing order number 32. Seconded, Mr Mayor. Point. Uh, as the council has sat for more than two and a half hours, it has been moved and seconded that the remaining items of business on tonight's agenda be disposed of in accordance with the provisions of standing order number 32. This means that the necessary motions to deal with reports for decision shall be formally moved and seconded and immediately voted on without debate. Is the motion to deal with the remaining business in this way agreed? All those in favour? I never knew you could speak so loudly, Councillor Cotton. All those against? All those against? Okay, the motion is carried by 27 votes to 25. No. Okay. Division has been called. Sound the bell. Wait a minute. Just a, a pause while the standing orders are consulted. The problem is that um, the, the, vo the voting has already taken place. So can you call a division after voting has taken place? That's the question. OK, there will be a division. Um, Anybody who doesn't want their vote recorded, please leave the chamber. Okay, assistant. We need to wait, for, we need to wait a little bit longer, I'm afraid. All oh, right, we have to wait a bit longer, apparently. Okay, uh, Assistant uh, Chief Executive will now um, call the names out for the division. Councillors, if you could indicate when your name is called, whether you're for or against or abstain at the motion that's been put for you. Councillor Akinola, absent. Councillor Ambash? Yes. Councillor Anderson? Yes. 
Councillor Belton? Yes. Councillor Binder? No, no, this is on the... Let me give it to you. Councillor Birchall? Councillor Byrne? Councillor Caddy? Councillor Calland? Councillor Carpenter? Councillor Carpenter. <laughs> Councillor Cook. Councillor Jane Cooper. Councillor Leone Cooper. Councillor Critchard. Councillor Crivelli. Councillor Daly. <coughs> Councillor Dawson. Councillor Denfield. Yes. Councillor Dickerdom. Councillor Ellis, Councillor Field, Councillor Fluke, Councillor Forbes, Councillor Fraser, Councillor Gasser, Councillor Gibbons, Councillor Gilbert, Councillor Govindia, Councillor Mrs. Graham, Councillor Peter Graham, Councillor Grimston, Councillor Mrs. Hampton, Councillor Hart, Councillor Henderson. Henderson. Councillor Hogg, Councillor Humphreys, Councillor Ireland, Councillor Jones, Councillor Lua, Councillor Locker, Councillor Mrs McDermott, Councillor McKinney, Councillor McLeod, Councillor Morgan, Councillor Moat, Councillor Brin, Councillor Richards Jones, Councillor Rigby is absent. Councillor Ryder. Yes. Councillor Salia is absent. Councillor Senior. Yes. Councillor Stock. Yes. Councillor Mrs. Sutters. Yes. Councillor Sweet is absent. Councillor Mrs. Torrington. Yes. Councillor Walker. Against. Councillor Walsh. Yes. Councillor White. Councillor Wintle. Right, guillotine motion has been carried by 29 votes to 25. So we now turn to executive report number two, and I ask Councillor Senior. No, no, no. no. Oh, sorry, we haven't voted on. I beg your pardon. Yeah. The, okay, so the amended amendment. Amended amendment. Um, no, the amended motion. Sorry, the amended motion. Uh, all those in favour, and we're talking about um, standing up for Wandsworth against an incompetent Tory government. So Mr. Mayor, it's the amendment of the motion, the Labour amendment of the Labour motion we voted on. Okay. Yeah. It's the amended yeah. amendment yeah. that we're voting on. Okay, look, let's just get this absolutely clear. Uh, Councillor Daly, will you stand up and tell us what we're voting on? If you like, Mr. Mayor, we could swap chairs and this would all go a bit faster. Uh, right. Uh, what we are voting on is an amendment to the Labour motion, and we are just changing the first recommendation so that it now reads, uh, this council therefore resolves to instruct the leader to write to the Prime Minister and her entire cabinet to request that she puts her deal before the British people for them to vote on. And then the rest is as read. So we're voting on that amendment. Yeah, so those for that amendment? Right. So it's, it's for the amendment of writing to lots of cabinet members that uh, yes. previously yes. weren't That's right. included. That's exactly okay. right. All those in favour? Of the amendment. Of writing to lots of extra cabinet members.
Uh, Councillors, could you put, all put your hands up a bit higher? Mr. Mayor, on the, sorry, on the point of order, we might be able to save a few seconds on this. If the proposer of the motion has accepted the amendment, there is no need to vote on it because it's accepted by the proposer. And since the proposer has just voted in favour of the amendment to his own motion, by definition, it's accepted. Just take those against the, the north. Yeah, I think yeah. we'll just go ahead with what we started, Councillor yeah. Grimson. I, I hear what you say. Uh, all those against writing to lots of additional cabinet members uh, that weren't in the original motion. Mr. Mayor, on a point of order, can you please stop loading the question each time? You've done it several times tonight, making it quite clear where the mayor stands, and it's just not acceptable for you to say, all those in favour of writing lots of useless letters to... That's just loading the question, and you should not be doing it. All those... All those against the Labour motion? No, the Labour amendment. The Labour amendment, sorry, but still the amendment to the, to the Labour motion. It's the amendment. Those against the amendment, Mr. Mayor. All those against, you're all abstaining? No. Can you have a division after, after yeah, that's fine. They're just going to vote it down anyway. Yeah, so the amendment's carried then. The amendment's carried oh, 25. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Hang on a minute. Okay. Hang on. Sorry. No. Hang on. Listen, listen, sorry. Sorry. Are we absolutely clear then that that is carried? Well, we've just we're voted on, on that. Two, we're voting on two to five now. The one's carried. You, is that what we're saying? Yeah, because we've only voted on the, their amendments, the number one, haven't we? So the council has instructed to write to, to instruct the No, we, I think we've now Sorry, voted bear with us a bit longer. Which is now with that new wording in it, isn't it? Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 OK. Fine. So the amendment is uh, carried. 25. Was it 25? 25. 25. So the amendment's carried. All right, the... Um, the, amend, the amended motion, the amendment, is carried. So, so we now go to the substantive motion. Yeah. There's no divisions after the guillotine. guillotine. Now, I'm afraid we've already voted for the guillotine, so there's no, um, no divisions. Right, all those in favour of the motion. Sorry, on the point of order, Mr. Mayor, you cannot have a division on a motion which is, a, which is absurd by the standing orders. This motion cannot be put because it's been accepted by the proposer of the motion. And therefore, the amendment stands without a vote. And we can't vote on something. Yeah, we've already which is accepted not a the motion. We're not now voting on the amendment. We're voting on the, on the motion it's itself the you're as on amended. The right. Um, so we've got standing orders. What is it? All right, look, um, we've got standing orders. Uh, it's clear that... Move to the vote. Move to the vote. Uh, all those in favour of the motion... Point of order, Mr Mayor. Standing order 20 says that uh, once the opinion of the chairman uh, has been given, that anyone who disregards yeah. the ruling of the chair uh, could be judged to be have behaved yeah. improperly or offensively, and you have the right to ask them to leave the chamber. Mr Mayor, can we just move to the vote on the motion, please? Can we just move to the vote on the motion? Okay. Those All favor those in favour of the motion? As amended. Yeah. As amended. Those against? Any 
abstention? Anybody abstaining? A motion is lost 25 to 29 with one abstention. We now turn to executive report number two, and I'll ask Councillor Senior to deal with paragraph one and two from the report. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, paragraph one is for information, as is paragraph two. Paragraph three is for information. All those in favour? Against? Any abstentions? So that's carried 29-24. Uh, carried 29-24, no abstention. Uh, four is for Paragraph four, yeah. Cool. The same numbers. Same numbers. All those in favour? Against. Yeah. Anyone abstaining? So that's carried twenty nine twenty five. Paragraph four is accepted for information by twenty nine votes to twenty five. Adult Care and Health Overview and Scrutiny Committee, Councillor Ellis. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, paragraph 5 is for information. And paragraph 6 is for information. Community Services and Open Spaces Overview and Scrutiny Committee, Councillor Mrs. Sutters. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Paragraph 7 for information. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Paragraph 8 is for information. Paragraph 9 is for information. Reference up amendment relating to this paragraph 9. Set out on page 99 of the agenda. Can I ask Councillor Ambash to move and Councillor Anderson to second the amendment? Right, those in favour of the amendment. Those against? Any abstentions? Okay, the amendment is lost by 24 votes to 30, no abstentions. So um, those in favour of um, accepting paragraph 9 for information, please raise your hand. Same numbers. Thank you. Uh, paragraph 10 is for information. Okay, uh, 